the inverse of a square root function. So let's start by selecting our square root function. We'll say y equals 3 square root of 2 x minus 2 plus 4. So this is some general square root function. And uh, just like in every other inverse of a function, what we do is we interchange the y variable with the x variable. So we have x taking the place of y, and we have 3, just copy everything the way it was, except instead of having an x, I now have a y minus 2 plus 4. And of course, what we do now is just isolate y. So I start by bringing this plus 4 over here to the other side. So what I get is x minus 4 equals 3 square root of 2y minus 2. And now I divide both sides by 3 to get rid of the 3 in front of my square root. So divide by 3, divide by 3. I get x minus 4 over 3 equals the square root of 2y minus 2. And now I want to get rid of the square roots. What I do is I square both sides. So I'm going to put brackets here, square this, brackets here, around everything, square that. And then continuing over here at the top right, I get x minus, that's pretty ugly, x minus 4 over 3 all squared equals, and now I have 2y minus 2. One more time, I need to get rid of the 2 in front of these brackets, so again, I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. So divide by 2. So what I get is 1 half, that's my division of 2, times x minus 4 over 3 all squared. So just uh, note this division by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. Um, that's equal to this cancels, this cancels, y minus 2. And finally, I bring the minus 2 to the other side, and I get 1 half x minus 4 over 3 squared plus 2 equals my inverse function. So I write to the negative 1, y to the negative 1, just to indicate that this is the inverse of my original function over here.